is Rhonda Kennard, and I was born and raised in Oakland, California. My name is Jay. I was born and raised in Richmond, California. My name is Maya. I'm from New York City. My name is Yanaka. I am from Chicago, Illinois. Shut down. My name is Danielle, and I'm from Oakland, California. My name is Rochelle Scales, and I'm from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. By way of <laughs> So, next question leading up to that is, how did you all meet here in the Bay? Because all of you are now in Oakland. Um, so how did that come about? How did everyone meet, and how did the band form? We all play together, like, just... Yeah. Wait, so... Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll make it quick. So, <laughs> you know, it was always... Something I wanted to do was really just have a, a, a group of women, you know, especially a group of women of color that come together. And when I met Yanaka in a Facebook group, you know, and we just literally shared the same like ideas and passion. So we linked up. We were already playing together. These two ladies right here, they always play together. We met Maya at a gig after Thanksgiving once, and it just felt like magic, and Rhonda just slid right on in here when we needed a bass player, and it's just, it's felt like it's been years, and it really hasn't been that long at all, but it, it just, it, we, we call it magic. We get together, no matter what we were going through before we walked in the door, no matter, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're like sisters, so we, you know, we argue, we have, you know, our little spats, but as soon as we get on the stage, None of that matters, because we feel the magic. Yay, Thank you. And, and how does that sound, all the different sounds from the different places that you're from, you bring that into your music. How do you think those different sounds come together? Um, well, I know definitely being from Chicago, I grew up in a lot of um, Delta Blues, and um, Chicago house music was big in my household. So I think um, when you hear Rochelle play a lot of those synths, and Danielle loves a lot of 80 synths as well. Um, especially when I write and bring whatever piece that I'm bringing to, to the group, it has a lot of those uh, little shot time elements, for sure, for sure. And I would say for me, having grown up in Oakland, like I always tell people that I knew it was time, or safe to go to sleep <laughs> at night at my grandmother's house after the car came through the intersection and did the, the donuts playing I Got Five on it, like I, like I literally went to sleep like listening to that kind of music, so, and I feel like that informs my playing. Um, well, I grew up playing in church, that's where it all started, so I just bring my gospel, soul, funk, pretty much everything to the group. I started out as a classical pianist, and so I love rock and roll. And so, like them, like in the '80s synth and the house vibe, um, I kind of bring that. So I just I have to scale back a little bit because I want to like go crazy and rock out. But um, <laughs> but yeah, so like the classical rock '80s influence is right up my alley. <laughs> Heritage. So I would say that when I was playing with Rhonda and then she told me that Afro-Cuban style is one of her large influences, it made a lot of sense why it felt so easy and fluid for us to play together. So as, it, as I think we bring that to the group too. And it sounds beautiful, all of those sounds together. Um, I'm looking forward to your first album. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to assume that the song Black Girl Magic would be part of that album. Um, can you talk about that song, why you created it, what, what you want that song to do for black women? Um, so I brought, I, I brought that song to the group. I've I only been here for a year, for a year and a half. Um, so that was one of the songs that I wrote, Broke and on the Couch. Um, really about... Um, taking nothing and making something out of it, which I grew up watching my mother do, my grandmother do, and a lot of um, black women around me do, whether it be um, trans or cis, I just, I just saw a lot of black women do that. So when I um, had the opportunity to bring a piece to the group to do, I was just like, we gotta do this one, for sure, for sure. Um, so it's definitely our anthem. Um, that's one of the, uh, 
requested songs everywhere we go, so it's definitely an avenue. Oh, thank you. Um, so to pivot a little bit, black women and the black queer community have often led social justice movements. Um, so how does your, how does the Onyx play a role in that? I think we're trying to use our platform and our our ever widening platform as we get to play in front of larger and bigger audiences and just different people that we wouldn't normally get to play in front of to elevate people who are in our community. We want to make sure that the people that we play in front of know that we believe that black lives matter. We want to make sure that the people that we play in front of know that trans lives matter, that trans is beautiful, and that we are proud of where we come from, and that we represent, even though we are all, all identify as black women, that we represent a lot of different communities up here. And the Onyx is not a monolith. <laughs> black people, no black person is a monolith, and we want to make sure that you know, we're uplifting the voices that you would normally hear in these kinds of spaces. So we take our privilege very seriously. And we want to make sure that um, we're going to talk about pride, because we are celebrating, celebrating pride. So thank you, everyone here coming out. Thank you, Apple, for hosting this event. And providing a platform for for people to talk and share music and, and really build community because I think that's what we really need to do right now is build community um, across all different backgrounds. Um, and Pride was born out of resistance. So let's not forget that. Um, we are celebrating a lot, but we are also resisting a lot today. Um, and music is often the soundtrack of a movement. Um, so how does the Onyx, like what other music, um, what other ways are you resisting um, today? I would say that just being black female, black women musicians on the stage is a form of resistance. I mean, a lot of our music is about joy. It's about love. It's about being who you are and show up, showing up as you are. And that's really, really important and again, just kind of reaffirming that platform, you know, we want to use our platform responsibly. We want to speak out against injustice, and we want to make sure that the people that we are performing to understand where we stand, you know? Um, yeah, I'll piggyback off of that a little bit. Um, I feel like um, Onyx is definitely about the uplift, upliftment of the community, and so we all uh, play roles in our community as teachers, as um, in hospitals, um, definitely community things. Some of us do feed the homeless. Some of us are actively involved in, um, like I said, just feeding the homeless as well as uh, making sure people have shelter. Breast cancer, I mean, so we also perform for free for our community. I mean, it's not always about the money, even though, you know, as artists, we have to do what we have to do so that we can pay our bills, but when it's something that's really for our community, like it's it's not about the money at all. It's really about uplifting us as a people. Oh, did we play? Did we play? We, we didn't do a song for you guys today, but it was called "Love Is Love." That was a, yeah. It's a new song. We kind of we prepared it actually for Pride. Okay, can we just give you a little acapella sample real quick? I just wanna be myself. I just wanna feel my soul. All that is surrounding me. I just wanna shake it up. I wanna fly my flag and fly it higher. I still look up to the sky to find my answers. I Don't try to stop me, I'm too 